my first ever time in Tokyo guys this is amazing just here walking we're going to the temple I can't remember which temple we're going to I think it's Sunjiki temple anyways I'll get you the name as soon as we get closer but just here walking around seeing the way of life here and can I tell you the weather feels awesome it's a bit chilly but I love it I love it and the energy here is just amazing the people here are very respectable you know I haven't gone to many countries where I've seen so much order and respect as I've come to see here in Tokyo and this is just a beautiful spot We're here in Mount Fuji, the fort station. The fort station is the highest we can go towards the peak just due to the time of year and the fact that there's still ice the closer you get to the peak. So Mount Fuji is the tallest peak in Japan and the view here is absolutely stunning. It's fairly cold but it's a breath of fresh air and um, quite a nice escape from the city so we're just here overlooking Tokyo at the moment or an area of Japan for that matter and everybody's here taking pictures including myself videoing 
this. But if you ever get an opportunity to come to Mount Fuji, I say that it should be on the top of your list if you're visiting Japan. Highly recommend Mount Fuji if you ever get a chance to come. So I totally forgot the name of the lake here, but it's a part of the Mount Fuji tour that we're on and we're about to hop on a boat and go around the lake. It's pretty cold, but I'm excited to be on the boat for this ride. We just rode a gondola up here and the views here are spectacular. I don't recall the name of the location, but it's somewhere in the Mount Fuji area. So anywhere you go in Mount Fuji, I guarantee you, you're going to have an amazing time. The views, you're going to just absorb these views because it's, I don't know, I don't think the video here is doing justice at all but it's the best I can do to try and capture it for you. to Mount Fuji and we're on the way back down and we decided to stop here. It's amazing. The weather is pretty chilly but I like it and as usual it's pretty serene as you can tell. So we're about to head back into Tokyo 
after this, I get to ride the bullet train. Um, we take the bus to the station and we get on the bullet train and then we head back. So just wanted an opportunity to share some of this with you. It is awesome guys. And if you ever get a chance to come to Japan, I'll highly recommend doing the trip to see Mount Fuji. I booked it on Viator. I'll include, or um, if you're interested, let me know and I'll shoot you more information about it. How awesome is this? The bullet train. This is so awesome. So wrapping up my day here in Tokyo and came across this street performance. I really don't know the song that they're singing, but it sounds pretty cool. So just here taking this in right before I head back to the Airbnb. just a quick video to share with you portions of my trip to Tokyo. I'm obviously back. I This is a few weeks now since my trip to Tokyo, but I wanted to just do a wrap up to the video where I was sharing some of those experiences. And I will say Tokyo is one of the best places I've ever been. Japan as a country is very orderly. The people there are very respectful. Totally enjoyed. I only got to spend a max of about two and a half to three days. So it's my hope to go back again in the future. It's one of those places just once is not enough. And it really left an impact on me. Most specifically, I love the tour that we did to Mount Fuji. Our tour guide as a part of the, the trip that I had bought was actually from Hiroshima. And so she shared the story about, you know, the effects of the nuclear weapon when it was dropped there on the population and how it has impacted her as somebody from the area. She's actually recovering, a cancer survivor, if you will. And she shared that the reason she became a tour guide was so that she could impact the lives of others and share with them the culture of Japan and be able to build bonds of friendships so that we can live in a world that is a better place and a world that will never again resort to instances of war like that, which had resulted in the bombing of Hiroshima. And so something about that moment stuck with me. It really impacted me for her to say that. And as we were going up to Mount Fuji, she started to sing a song. She said it was a song for the mountain. So it's a, it's a popular song there, I guess, but I can't recall the name. And as she was singing it, the bus driver was driving along a section of the road where just at the right speed, you'll hear the tune of the song that she was singing. And I loved it. I wish I remembered the tune for you right now, but it was one of the most impactful things for me on my entire trip to Tokyo. So I hope you enjoyed it. I do plan to share more of my trips with you when I do get a chance. So until next time, this is Dimitri. Hit the like button and hit subscribe. You know, I'm starting on this new journey with YouTube and we'll see how it goes.